that sounds just like a train whistle. Somebody was running one time when I was at the train show and we couldn't figure it out because they know their, their engine didn't have sound and all of a sudden they did. Oh wait, so <laughs> oh, so if you press this button on here... We no, I have a button on oh, this. It. It's to the back of the diner in the back corner. I'll give you priority for your for your passenger. No, it'll be cool. Oh, did I tell you I sold that on eBay? Oh, he's my neighbor. He lives down the street. That guy, my my other neighbor was having a yard sale about five years ago, I guess. And uh, his mom and dad were there, and I had a bunch of my neighbors said, "Well, bring some stuff over." So I brought some trains over, and, <laughs> and they, they said, "Oh, my son would just love this." I go, "Call him up. I'll be here." So then he came down, and we got to talk, and we bought a whole bunch of stuff, and told him about the train club out here and everything, and kind of like been friends with his own. So with my head injury, he, I always have to ask him. He remembers stuff. You know, what do I have? Okay, what? you're in. Do I have one of these? That's so cool. I'm going to need a train to go It's so quiet. Oh, that's what it's supposed to be. See, I got it on the, the station, the PFA announcements. Right. <laughs> and uh, I can't do the horn or anything. That sounds so stupid. What? Moving on. No, dude, on the MTH Mikado, <laughs> they have a dog barking in their PFA announcement. Well, it wasn't supposed to happen when I was moving. It was supposed to happen when I was in the station, but I didn't really work out. And the lamp, guys. What do you know? Great. And we'll go ahead and stop.